The observer pattern is one of the most well-known design pattern in Unity because of its importance. Today, let's take the observer pattern to the next level by let me introduce you the concept of event manager. First, I will explain a little bit about the observer patterns for those who don't know. If you guys know this already, please check the timestamp and move forward. This diagram was taken from refactoring.guru and it will help me to display to you guys how the observer patterns work. Basically, it is the publish and subscribe model. You're gonna subscribe your action to your publisher and whenever your publisher want to notify, it will update it to all of your subscriber. One of the real world example is when you click the subscribe button right here. By doing that, every time I publish a new video, you will get notified. So I don't have to go to every of you, every of my subscriber to say that, hey, I got a new video as you guys will be notified for it instead. That is the powerful of it. Now, let's jump back to the implementation in Unity. In here, I have three class, Hair Observer, Hair Subject, and Player Trigger. I will explain this and show you example. Then we will move on to the, the most important part, the event manager. In here, I have the health subject class, which including the logics of we updating our current health. And let's take a look that I have the actions type of C sharp. Let's go with on health change. So every time the health change, I will notify it. This is what the C sharp programming language made the observer pattern easy to reach for it. Now, in the have observer class, what we're going to do is we're going to subscribe to the event. So every time the health subject will change, we will update the slider, which is here, to the value of the new health value. And the last classes, it will be the player trigger class. In here, every time we hit play, we will modify the health. Let's notice that the player trigger class doesn't know anything about the health observed club class. That is really the powerful point of the observer pattern because it makes our classes less dependent on each other. Now, let's see how we run the game in the inspector. The his play and in the main camera I have all the classes right here. In here we have the slider and I will click space for you guys to see. You will see that the slider has been updated to the new value. The observer pattern is clearly powerful, but you can see it has its limitation. The player trigger class is the one we involve the chance in. It still depends on the health subject class right here. Now, I will show you what we can take it to the next level. This diagram is also taken from refactoring.guru. So instead of handling the event chance by subscribing to the one publisher, we will make all our classes depend on one events manager. This this class will be will be the one to handle all of our events, all of the things that our class used to communicate with each other. So for example, in here, the player trigger will not be dependent on the health subset class. It will only needs to be depends on the events manager. Now let's jump back to the code. This is the basic class for the event manager. I will make this the static class because I want to access this anywhere. In here, I will use the power of generic to pass the dynamic payload each time that we want to involve our events. If you want to copy the code, please hit the pause button and try to yourself.
I had the dictionary, we take the string at the key, and the action which take and t event arguments are the parameter. This action will be the value. I have three methods here. The register events will take the event type and the event handler as a parameter. First, it will check if this dictionary right here contain the event type as a key. If it's not, we will assign for it. And if it's not, we will subscribe it to the additional events right here. Similarly, we also have the unregistered event, which also takes the same kind of parameters, but in this time, we're going to unsubscribe it. And the most important method is the trigger events. In here, what we pass is the payload. This is the time that going to be generic based on the events manager type. I will check if it's contain the event type as a key in the dictionary, and if it does, it will involve it. Now, let's see how we can change the help by sample by using event manager. In a help by class, what we're going to do is, it is in the start method, we're going to register the event. Let's call it the update health at the key, and the functions, what we're going to supply is called update health. Let's take a look. In here, we're going to pass the generated type of float. Therefore, the function that we're going to handle will also need to have floats as the parameter. And in here, similar to the observer pattern, we're going to update the slider value according to the new chance of the health. Similarly, in the player class, what we're going to do is we're going to depend on just event manager class only. And we'll call it trigger event, which the event type is similar to the one in the health bar. And the payload of it will be the current health. In some of my project, what we're going to do is we're going to use another class. And I will call it the event key. In this here, I'm going to pass the update health. It's going to be equal to. Oh, this should be static as well. The update health is will be equal to the event key right here. So, instead of making the little string, we can use events key update health right here. It will reduce our mistake. We're going to paste here, and then we're going to paste here. And every time that she wants to see which thing trigger the chance, you can click by usage, and you will see that in the help bar, we register it and we unregister it, and in the player class, we trigger this event. I will open the event manager scenes. It's still the same scenes, I just copy it, but the difference is in the main camera, I will pass those codes from the event manager only. I still take the slider as the parameter. Oh, I'm sorry. As the property for the helper. Similar logic. When I hit play, the helper value will be updated. So, nothing changed, but we make our code less dependent on each other. That's pretty amazing. Next, I will show you the thing that makes Event Manager so powerful which is we can pass dynamic payload to them. In here, let's make a new class. I will call it, um, let's see, health bar, um, health event payload. Now, 
let's take a look in here our make is the simple c sharp class let's provide system dot serializable attribute i will show you that instead of just passing the generate type of load we can pass whatever we want I will have the first variable as the health and the second ones uh, let's call it um, names okay let's take a look at that now in the help bar classes instead of registering for the float type we're going to pass the health event payload type and similarly in the update health method, we will pass the health event payload type as the parameter. Similarly, in here, we will pass the health event payload. But you will see that because we change the type, there's no longer, this code no longer correct. What we could do is we will change this to payload. And then, payload.health so we can also make generic class as the generic type we are not limited to the basic type such as integer or float we can also pass the class type right here as I pass the events payload health event payload and this time I can call debug.log mm, let's say value the name value have been called and I'm gonna pass the payload dot name similarly in the player classes instead of Passing this generic type of float, we're gonna pass the now event payload. And this here, you already see that it's gonna notify us the error, which is argument type float is not accessible to the parameter type health event payload. We need the health event payload object. And what we're gonna do is gonna create a new health event payload, and then we're gonna pass a property to it. Run health and name. For example, John, okay, now let's see in the editor, now let's see in the editor, same class as before, I will put the console window for you guys to see the display, you will see that whenever we click the space button, the health bar is still updated and we also pass around not just the basic type but also the dynamic type which has been the name of John. That is what makes Event Manager such a powerful tool for you guys to use. This is the end of my video. If you like it, please consider like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.